So an item analysis is something that students use. It's usually a form after they've taken a pre or post test and they're able to um, figure out which items, what content that they are gonna need more help with and which content that they already know really well. So then they can focus on the content that they're gonna still need to learn. We're gonna go over the test in a small group of about three of you. I'm gonna just pull the three of you up here at the time and we'll go over it that way. Look at your unit one item analysis. This is very similar to your item analysis from your pretest. So you have your performance indicator. The first one is the decimals. The add, subtract, multiply, divide decimals and dividing whole numbers. This covers this. The first four questions were from the 11 question test you took in class. The, fir the three questions over here are from the performance task assessment that you did in class and at home and in your group. Okay. If you are not happy with either or or both, I will give you some um, activities you can do to improve your grade. I'll put them on your Google Classroom. And so you can work at those at your own pace and you can have those done. And if you want them posted by the end of the semester for your grade for the semester, they need to be done before that December break. Okay. So when a student takes a pretest, you know, we, we've discussed prior that they, where they start on their pathway their depth of knowledge level depends on their pretest. Well, that can also, uh, doing an anal pretest analysis helps them know which areas specifically that they're, you know, they know a lot in and which areas they still need to learn more. So it can, when you have, especially I teach social studies, when there's a variety of things they have to know, it helps narrow in exactly what they struggle with. We also do it with the post test. We do an analysis so they can see how they've grown in the different areas and to make sure that they've retained the knowledge that they were supposed to have known at the beginning. We do similar with item analysis. So for a math unit um, example, um, rational numbers, that can be fractions, decimals. You know, it, when they break it down, they can see exactly what area they're struggling in and they can focus a little more in that area. And then in the post-test item analysis, they can definitely see how much they've grown.